What finger does the wedding ring go on? It's your ring finger on your left hand, by the way. Well, that was easy. <sighs> All right. But depending on the type of ring and the statement you want to make, you know, the, the rules are very different, and I'm going to show you why. What's up, Manly Bands fam? If this is your first time here, welcome. And as always, if you're returning, thank you and welcome back. On this channel, I share tips to help you make the best decision when buying unique men's wedding bands. Or in this video, how to properly wear your resplendent ring. It's pretty common for guys, particularly in the United States, to wear their wedding ring on their left ring finger. But why is the wedding ring worn on the ring finger in the first place? The tradition of wearing a wedding ring on this digit originated from the Roman belief that this finger has a vein running directly to the heart, which is completely anatomically incorrect. But since when did facts get in the way of a good tradition? Some countries, including Germany, Spain, Norway, and Russia, traditionally wear their wedding rings on their right hand. Also, India does the same thing as it was once believed that the left hand was unlucky or dirty. And uh, I'm left-handed, so that explains a lot about my life. Keep in mind traditions change by culture, so pay attention to what is popular where you live. Like if you live in a culture of, say, the 1957 and 1969 Boston Celtics, where winning was the tradition for Bill Russell, 11 NBA championship rings, baby! Over time, traditions evolve. For example, over the last several years, we have seen an evolution with engagement rings for men. Historically, engagement rings were exclusively given to women from their future husbands. The engagement ring was a gift and symbolized the man's commitment to marry. Over the years, we've seen men starting to receive engagement rings of their own. Maybe this is due to the gender pay gap decreasing or same-sex marriages becoming more common. Either way, it's an awesome change and way overdue. Now, similar to the engagement ring is the promise ring. Promise rings can be traced back to the rise of posy rings in England and France during the Middle Ages. And these were tokens exchanged between lovers and often inscribed with short love poems. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm ready to get hitched. How about you? Today, promise rings are gifted in the same way, but the actual promises behind a promise ring can have different meanings to different people. Commitment is the general idea, but whether that commitment is to an upcoming engagement, abstinence until marriage, or the promise of commitment without filing joint tax statements, it's all up to you two. Let's talk about placement. In Western cultures, whichever finger you've designated as your engagement and or wedding ring finger holds the greatest significance and is a great choice to make a temporary home for the promise ring. Signet rings, for example, were very popular and still have an underground following, these rings were used to mark and seal documents by pressing the face of the ring into hot wax. Signet rings were actually considered more authentic than signatures. These rings were so personal to the individual that they would be considered just as authentic as, say, fingerprints are today. The signet ring would always be on the smallest finger of your non-dominant hand. So for me, that would be this guy over here. A thumb ring on either hand used to be reserved only for the high-class ballers of the world, and it was seen as a status symbol and it represented wealth, which makes sense because because it costs a heck of a lot more to create a thumb ring. That's one huge digit you gotta get around. Each finger holds a symbolic significance too. Your thumb is all about power and influence. Your index finger symbolizes your social status. The middle finger is reserved for balance. It's in the center of the hand, so, you know, that'll help you remember. And the ring finger is your marital status. And just like emojis, wearing multiple rings makes a statement. Wearing a combination of the cowboy and the angler sends a clear message that you enjoy a life of freedom and connecting with the natural world. A gentleman wearing the record producer, the rock star, and the VIP broadcast to everyone that this is a person who has big goals and a plan to make it happen. Well, now that you know which rings go where, it's time to get your correct ring size and dress that dazzling digit. And if you're not quite sure on how to do that, click on this video right over here. And if you just need to narrow down your choices, I have a video over here with some of my favorite rings. Till next time, Archie out. One day, it's supposed to...